<laughs> we are live from Mudgee, Australia, and here's Pip. <laughs> and Sam is giving Pip some strokes and cuddles, and Pip is so happy. Mm. And we are going to I'll hand the camera over to Sam, and then she can show you a bit of this amazing <laughs> property here, and come inside, and we'll be gathered to do a little Periscope Live. So we're on live, and Pip wants to come in, but we need to let Sam in. <laughs> Are you getting, did you get this view of all this amazing... It is, I just... There, this is like a courtyard area, and we're going to go in live here at Mudgee. And I'll just let you go in the door here. <laughs> and you can come over here, get a nice spot, maybe we'll get a nice seat for you to, to be able to pivot around this group here. <laughs> so we're live from Mudgee, Australia. I said people are starting to join, join in here and I'm David, and next to me is Colin. Hi. Jackie. Jackie, hi. Sue. Hi. And Peter. Mm. <laughs> and we're very excited. This is an amazing place here. We've got to see just a little bit of it, but uh, we're here to talk about the community that's here. We're here to talk about what's going on here. And also, we're planning an event for November 4th through the 10th. That's Friday, November 4th through Thursday, November 10th. Coming up this year, we'll be part of the Francis and I are doing a round the world tour and coming back to Australia. And so we're very excited about that. And um, maybe, Jackie, you want to talk a little bit about what we've got so far? Oh, I'd love to. I'd love to. We've, we've been here since midwinter last year and things have just been developing, unfolding. We've had a New Year retreat and a silent retreat. We've got silent retreats all lined up. We have several of those a year. Um, but this one is exciting. Um, it's beautiful to have David and Francis coming down and joining us. So we're, we're going to be um, accommodating people in the Heritage Homestead here which as you can see is very glorious, in the grounds, camping, um, and locally at motels. So we are not short of space. Uh, we've got beautiful rooms, wonderful, spacious grounds to be able to have lots of fun. Garden parties, sessions, movies. We're, we're getting very excited already about it. Yeah, it's, it's great. And Sue... Um, Oh, do I talk about the horse? Oh, <laughs> that's me. The horse is on the way. There might be a horse <laughs> to play. <laughs> to play, that's right. Yeah. But apart from the horse, there's lots of sheep, and <laughs> there's lots of nooks and crannies in the garden where you can sit and just rest and look at the sunset or mm. out across the fields. It's very, very peaceful. With kangaroos and parrots, yes. king parrots, oh. kookaburras, lots of nature. <laughs> it's beautiful. We're on a thousand acre farm, so it's it's very quiet, peaceful. Yeah. And a working farm too. I've just been down helping a plumber pull a pump out of the well and there's big round bales that are very picturesque and rolling paddocks of loose and, and uh, it is, it's lovely. It feels very alive. Yeah. 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 Very nice. 
I'm feeling too that uh, it's interesting the timing with November because when, when you get to November in Australia, you're rolling into summer, aren't you? Mm -hmm. That's when summer's coming. So yeah. if there are those of you that are tuning in from from uh, Japan, China, Philippines, Hawaii, uh, Bali, anything over the near the South Pacific. Or if you're just one of those that are tuning in from the Northern Hemisphere and you know how cold it gets and in November it's starting to get cold, even occasionally some snow creeping in there, then that could be a fun trip. Now this particular seven day retreat is coming on the heels of the first Course in Miracles conference that they've ever had here that our friend Kate Greaves is planning down in Melbourne. So when we decided to do this week-long retreat, we thought, well, there may be people that come from different parts of the Australia to join in that conference, maybe from Perth and Darwin or up north, uh, anywhere, the, the Gold Coast area, whatever, come down to Melbourne. But then it could be part of uh, giving yourself maybe a couple weeks to come to a Friday, Saturday, Sunday conference, I think that's the 28th, 29th and 30th of October. And then uh, I think I might be part of a wedding or something <laughs> down in the, this beautiful place down south of uh, Melbourne and Mornington Peninsula, somewhere in that area. But, but uh, have a nice trek, you could even uh, rent a car and drive up the coast. Uh, up towards Sydney and then out to Mudgee. This it's very majestic out here. We're just out in the. This uh, was a farm that goes back to the 1800s, and so it's just gorgeous. It's spread out. We have these big rooms here where we'll have sessions. We have beautiful lounges that Sam and I and was just Jackie was showing us that could be for breakout groups, and. Um, on some days when it's particularly nice, I see some, here we are in late afternoon and there's some shade coming across the courtyard, but we could even have some chairs and maybe do some outdoor sessions. And I'm sure heading into summer it'd be just gorgeous here. And so it really feels like it's it, giving yourself a chance to come out into the, or like into the outback of going out away. This is the first time I've actually come into Australia. I know I, I had, I went down south of uh, Sydney to Kangaroo Valley, which was a beautiful drive, and our friend Frank Barker and his and the big tent that he had there, and we did a huge, like a eleven day gathering back then. But this is the first time I've really come inland. So, if you come, you probably would have to, for sure, drive or take fly pelican. Airlines. <laughs> this is a cute little, Sam said it's like having one of those little toy airplanes that this little boy flies around. It was a cute, cute little airline. Very tiny though, so you'd either have to fly into Sydney and fly up with Fly Pelican, or you could uh, come and, and rent a car. And if you really wanted to do it up with a big Aussie Course in Miracles uh, weekend followed by a, a full retreat, you could do the whole two weeks. It's a very beautiful drive from Sydney through the Blue Mountains over here too. We're in the central New South Wales so you actually come through the mountains from Sydney. So to, to rent a car from Sydney and drive is lovely. Mm. And it's not train. a long mm. trip either, it's about no. three and a half hours or mm. um, 50 minutes on a plane so it's really mm. accessible. Yeah. Yeah. Or the train. There's a, there's a train and a coach that will come here as well, so, yeah. which is a nice ride too. Yeah, yeah it's mm. not too far. Mm. Well, there's a lot of options. And then also, this is the, the home of the Living Miracles Australia community, so maybe you can all share a little bit about how it's been living here. They have personal retreats, they have silent retreats, mm -hmm. and then this will be uh, quite an active retreat with sessions coming up, the full week retreat we're talking about. But as the year goes on, I think already there's there's a silent retreat coming up uh, in a little while, and and then and 
everyone here lives here, so it's practicing. I mean, if you went through these halls, you'd see Jesus uh, around, uh, who's inspired us with his, his living and his teachings and A Course in Miracles, and calling us to wake up to the Kingdom of Heaven within. And so we have quite a, quite a beautiful community going here. Maybe you could share a little bit about how that's going, and maybe also about the, the retreats, the personal retreats, and the silent retreats that are coming up. Mm. Mm. For sure. Um, the, the silent retreats are not totally silent, but they are mostly silent, so that there are very um, few sessions involved. Uh, we do have one-on-one -on -one, uh, meetings each morning personal meetings with each with each participant and they are very very deep very still and um, for anybody who really wants to leave the world behind and allow all the thoughts and feelings to arise in a very safe place and where they can actually share those feelings to let them go that's a, a really concentrated time in, in deep stillness. Very lovely and very much appreciated by those who've done it. Um, the other thing that we do offer are those personal stays, which uh, is come just live with us in community with no special arrangements, just joining what we do. So we have a meditation each morning, uh, we have an expression session following that, um, and then just go move into all our functions and we have three meals a week together so, uh, in silence mostly sometimes they're not but most of the time those are in silence um, and then spontaneously other things happen we have movies uh, deep teaching sessions what else do we do oh we do beautiful movement music to music Yes, in and only mornings. in the morning we do two dance sessions a week, a week or um, just a mystical morning movement, as we've called it, mm. just gentle yeah. music, which has been a lovely way to start the day. Mm. So, yeah, the personal yeah. retreat is it's sort of a new thing, but it, it feels a lovely way just to, to merge and get a feel of the community and, and what it's actually offering and mm. get in touch, as Jackie said, with feelings and and uncovering things that want to be released. So, yeah, and it's lovely to have people stay here and just be gently a part of the community. Yeah, I might say too that um, it's, yeah, it's kind of as far as our community goes, it's, it's uh, amazing to have this community going on down here because all four of these to, to my right are all very ex long-term experienced community members and that's not always the case in our communities. Um, we can have quite a mix going on. And then Mel, who's actually down in Sydney preparing for when Sam and I come down there on Saturday. I'll be down, if anybody's tuned in from Sydney, I always have to be able to plug on these live streams. If anybody's in Sydney, it's a big city, or you have anybody in the area, the Sydney, greater Sydney area, uh, there's going to be uh, a gathering at our friend Pam's house, who was here for one of the retreats, yeah. from what I've heard. Yeah. And it's the, the retreat, the, the gathering this Saturday, two days from now, is going to be 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., mm -hmm. a three-hour gathering. But Mel also lives with these four, so there's five. And then Michael Caruana, from what I understand, is, is heading down perhaps around August, so that will be like six uh, long-term communities. So actually, this is even though this is more new on the map, it's got a lot of of depth and stability because if you have six people that have been living for years in community and, and practicing together and going through the motion, there's a lot of, you could say, resources available uh, to come and, and it's, when you look at it, take a personal retreat with six people who've been living in community for a long period of time, there's lots of nurturing and, and 
those are the witnesses I'm getting back with. Sam and I just stayed with Mirabella and she came up here with her friend Marie Claire from which was France and and uh, had a wonderful time. It was just her first silent retreat ever. She was a little nervous uh, coming up, but she had such a wonderful time and she felt such a depth and a presence. And it was the perfect welcoming for her to kind of go on her first silent retreat and feel loved and welcomed. And you know, it, it was a very, very warm experience for her. So there's lots of, uh, of reasons to come and there's lots of different avenues and um, also the website that we use here is it is it acim australia dot info that's it yeah that's yes. it yeah and that's got all our um, upcoming retreats on it we're doing a midwinter oh not quite midwinter but a warm winter retreat too which will be more interactive with sessions and um, movies music uh, so that's on the on the website too for details. There's a taster for November. Yeah, that would yeah. be nice to come. Yeah, and of course, we anyone coming and and living with us is going to just naturally fall into how we do things. It, it's not difficult. It's it's a natural way of being. It's much more natural than than the way that we generally live in the world, and so. Everyone who comes does feel that and, and drops very gently into it. Uh, it's a, a way of just following intuition, a very deep knowing that's there already, that everyone has. It's just allowing that to be felt. And it, it really is just glorious to be alongside that. We're all so grateful when people come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For some of you that that even haven't been in spirituality that much, you know when you go to a country and you, you start to go out to the rural areas, it's almost like it turns the clock back. Um, you know, when you're in buildings that have been here for many, many decades, and, and just the drives can be very meditative, and uh, the feel of, of coming out here uh, Sam was noticing too when we came and we mentioned something about the, the news of the, uh, the Brussels attacks and oh, oh, th there was no awareness of the Brussels attacks and, and Sam was delighted to see that uh, in the sense that, that it's a real devotional practice. You're giving your mind over to God, you know, you're not caught up in the, the pace of oftentimes the cities and um, Sam was noticing the airport, we were in Sydney airport, the people and the movement and there's a, there's a certain um, frenetic kind of energy and then when you come out and it's so quiet and still, it's just a symbol of, of giving your mind permission to just sink and relax and come back to that very natural rhythm. Uh, there was a famous uh, Course in Miracles teacher years ago who's passed away called Tara Singh and he loves doing retreats and he did a 40 day in the wilderness retreat down in Angel Fire, New Mexico and he would say, get in touch with the dawn and get in touch with the dusk and he was from India, he was a Sikh but he was very devoted to the Course and, and the rhythm of the silence and, and nurturing your soul and so, you know, a lot of times when people think about going to Course conferences or whatever, it's what city, what attractions, and all those kind of things. This, this has a rhythm and a stillness that is very conducive to nurturing your soul. So that could be another consideration if you, if you feel like you have a very fast-paced life and you feel like it's, sometimes it spins out of control and you, you need a little more spaciousness to, to sink down in a natural way, then I can't think of a better way than being with friends and as I said, this is a, these are very long-term residents in communities, so this is not like a new thing for them. Uh, they've had to face a lot of darkness, uh, that's a lot of it's come up, and that's the journey, the authentic spiritual journey is you have to go through the darkness to the light, but it helps to have mighty mates, it helps to <laughs> have support when you're going through that. It, I know I went through a lot of it in a very solitary way, and. 
I really wouldn't wish that on anyone. Uh, that's more the old style, and this this is more the mighty mates or the the new style of Jesus saying, "Yeah, you have mighty companions, and you can go through it. You can feel the support that's with that." So we're kind of in this room here. It's very lit up, and we have a big screen TV and a beautiful stove. But we thought we would all get up and walk down the corridor, and since there's good Wi-Fi and we can do this with Periscope, we'll lead you down the corridor, one of our corridors, and out onto the veranda, and then Sam can get a shot of the farm, which we would love to show you as well, because we could describe it, but there's a picture is worth a thousand words. So. We'll just get up and invite you to come along with us. <laughs> the sheep are all out here. <laughs> we do this on live stream. <laughs> Just beautiful. Here's the veranda, some chairs. You can just you can film it from right there. I'll just come out here and so if you want to come out, we'll just this is it. This is the farm in the back of the sheep are there. We get all together. The welcoming committee. Yes. Come on down. Come on down. <laughs> We welcome you. We invite yeah, you. We wow. <laughs> we always have the best shot for last. <laughs> we love you. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you in a flash. See you. Just push the button. <laughs> the center. That'll do it.